let's start with the seven, right? Obviously, uh, you know the history and, and what it means. You know, Tyron, you know, retweeting it and everything. Just what, what's it mean to you personally? Uh, it means a lot, um, especially since, like you said, the guys that were before me, Tyron, Steen, Delpit, you know, those guys, electric players like myself, and um, it's an honor for me to work. Now that we're in game week, what, what are your expectations for this week and getting the season started? What are you most excited about? Um, I'm most excited about Sunday, but really the process. Um, just going through everything over, making sure we got some structure and we execute. When we talked in Dallas, you talked about being ready for things to go wrong and that being the biggest difference maker for you having success, like being able to handle it when they go wrong. Like, how has this fall camp prepared you, I guess, and, and enabled you to be ready for that? Um, playing our, our offense, our line, you know, our offense as a whole. Um, as a defense, we faced adversity in practice. So, you know, when we get in the game and adversity come, you know, we know how to stick together. We ain't pointing fingers and none of that. You got to feel better about where you guys are right now. I mean, just from what we can tell, you guys are improved, right? Like, how much more confidence do you feel like the unit has as a whole? Um, I feel like we're confident. Um, we prepare. We take. We do the right stuff on and off the field, and um, we got our coaches. Like, we got the best coaches in college football. How could you not be excited? Uh, Brian talked about you elevating the play of others around you, and maybe that being the difference maker. We're seeing it obviously with the jersey recognition, but. What does it mean, I guess, to hear him say that about you? And how proud are you of being able to kind of increase your leadership role in this team? Oh, it means a lot. Um, I'm just a guy that coming in trying to just do my job as a player, as a teammate, and just be the best I can be and um, help my teammates be good, great too. Let's talk about SC. What kind of challenges do they present to you guys? You know, obviously a, a high-powered offense, something that you're accustomed to seeing in the conference. Um, they got a lot of skilled guys that's good in space. So, you know, we just got to tackle and get the ball down and just do what we do best. Tackling's key. Yeah. Compared to seasons in the past, what's one personal goal that you have for yourself this year? I hear you. Compared to seasons past, what's a personal goal that you have for yourself this year? Um, I got personal goals, but I feel like um, as long as we doing good as a team and we winning as a team, all the personal goals and stuff like that going to come because the team goals is really is most important. Hey, guys, just make sure y'all are holding the mic close just so we can hear it on snap stream. Can you just talk about what's key this week, especially for communication with you guys, especially with the DBs and just the linebacker group and kind of knowing if there's an assignment maybe blown? Just talk about that maybe. Um, just trusting our eyes. Um, like knowing what we're looking at, um, it's not a pretty hard offense. You know, we just got to read our keys and um, trusting what we see in communication. Like you say, commu communication is key. Harold, between you, Greg, West, and Weeks, everybody's been kind of excited about this linebacker room. How good do you think you guys as a group can be here in 2024? I think we can be phenomenal. And, um, we can, there's no limit on what we can do. There's a lot of different personalities in the room. And, um, Coach Baker know how to deal with it. So that's really the good thing about it. Um, you got a coach that knows how to deal with different personalities. Nobody worrying in there about playing or who's going to be in at this time or what. He knows what he's doing. We trust him. Harold, Coach said there's a lot of guys on the team that had battle scars from the previous couple of season openers. What have you learned from those? And that, is that motivation, learning, moving forward into this season opener? Um, yeah. Like I said, it all really comes down to execution. The team that makes the uh, less mistakes, I feel, is the team that won the game. Um, we got a chance to see the revamped recovery room, and we know football is a game of chances and yeah, luck. But recovery room hard. <laughs> How important is it for you guys to uphold that recovery room, and are there any new approaches you guys have been taking to injuries and prevention? Um, like you said, just we just gotta abuse the recovery room and like abuse everything that we got. We gotta use it to the best of our abilities, and um, of course it helped with um, the injury rate and stuff like that. It's not a lot of guys that's injured or that's battling with soft tissue injuries, obviously, because you know we we recovering every week. So, what's your favorite part of the recovery room? What, what device? My favorite part, um, I have to say the water bed. Yeah, that's my favorite part. The hot and cold. Looks cool too. Yeah. 
Uh, tell me about Mason Taylor. Just, he's a guy that I think can change the game. You know, what have you seen as far as covering him? You know, especially down the field because he's a guy that can do a little bit of everything at that position. Um, Mason is a like, to me. He's probably the best tight end in the country, um, and that's coming from me. You know, what I'm saying I'm out here every day guarding him, um, going against him every day, and he just keep elevating. He elevating my game, and I'm helping elevate his game. So, watch out. His ability to just get down the field and kind of do a little bit of everything. I mean, he's not not just staying in line blocking. Right. Facts. He not he not like a typical tight end. You know what I'm saying? He do everything. He can block. He can run routes. He can catch for sure. So um, yeah, it's just about what you want what you want from him as a coach. But he could definitely do everything. A couple more for Harold, guys. A couple more. Anybody? Anybody? Anybody got a question? Who's somebody on the defensive side of the ball that we're not talking enough about? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, I have to say probably, uh, probably say Tank. Tank been doing a good job playing those for us, him and G. And um, I'm excited to play in front of those two guys because, uh, like I say, they're very confident in what they're doing. Two big, strong guys. So I'm just ready to hit the field with them and get active.